Imaging the sun has been a lot of fun through my Lunt 40 millimeter dedicated hydrogen alpha solar telescope. Viewing prominences, sunspots, filaments, and flares has been pretty amazing. However, the sun has been cut off from my imaging through my ZWO cameras. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm an amateur astrophotographer, and let's talk about why the sun is being clipped from my ZWO imaging cameras. Before we go in this episode, never point a telescope, finder scope, or guide scope directly to the sun without a proper solar filter that is undamaged and approved for looking at the sun. Damage your eyes will be instantaneous and most likely irreversible. Stars emit light across a range of wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. Our sun produces electromagnetic waves in the form of gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared light, microwaves, and radio waves. Most humans perceive wavelengths in the visible spectrum through the eye using special cells called photoreceptors that turns light into electrical signals to the brain. Since the sun is producing the entire range of light across the visible spectrum, the sun appears white in the sky despite it peaking at 500 nanometers in the blue-green wavelength. Solar telescopes like the one that Lunt offers uses specialized filters to allow only a very narrow band of wavelength through. The red hydrogen alpha is 656.28 nanometers. It gives us a view of the solar chromosphere where all the action is at, sunspots, filaments, prominences, flares, and more. Looking through my Lunt Solar Telescope offers some amazing views of our star through my eyepieces. Here's what it looks like through my 32 millimeter Plossal eyepiece using my Google Pixel 8 mobile phone. The image is challenging to capture with a cell phone, but it is an amazing sight. When I purchased my solar telescope, I purchased everything with the idea of portability and ease of use. I got the reliable Skywatcher Solar Quest Alt Azimuth Solar Mount and the ZWO ASI Air Mini Astronomy Wi Fi Smart Device to take images through my astrophotography cameras. The first camera I used was the one I was using as a guide camera for my telescope the ZWO 290 Mini camera. And although it takes great images, the camera could not get the whole sun on the sensor. The angular diameter of the sun is approximately half a degree or 32 arc minutes. The field of view through this astronomy camera is 0.8 degrees by 0.46 degrees, just short of what I need to capture the entire sun. So as a solution, I took two images of the sun and stitched them together through Adobe Photoshop. And here's an example of that. ZWO recently upgraded the 290 mini camera to the 220. The 220 has a larger sensor and pixels, higher quantum efficiency, and lower readout noise. So I went ahead and purchased this camera for both my guide scope and Lunt solar telescope. On October 14th of 2023, I used my new 220 camera to image the annular eclipse of the sun, which is a partial eclipse of the sun at my location. Between lots of clouds, the new camera did a pretty amazing job of imaging the sun. But I noticed that the images were not the same quality as the 290 mini camera. The issue I discovered was that the camera is slightly undersampled for my solar telescope. So what exactly is sampling? Sampling is the process of converting an analog signal into discrete values that can be recorded on a memory chip. In digital photography, this is all being done through a photosensitive computer chip and the associated hardware and software. A properly sampled image is sharp and properly resolved. An undersampled image is lacking information or signal from the source. It generally looks too pixelated. The pixels on the chip cannot resolve the details of the image. Stars become blocky and lose their roundness. Here's an example I created with one of my images to look undersampled. Notice that the details of the moon are not adequately captured. The edges are jagged into squares and rectangles. An oversampled image is where the signal or light is spread over more than one pixel. The pixel size on the image chip are small enough that the light or photons are spread across more than one pixel. As a result, it could take more processing time for the camera and possibly result in a soft image. Having a properly sampled image is an important consideration when purchasing astrophotography cameras. 
Pairing the right size pixel for your camera with your telescope's focal length for the scene conditions will result in proper sampling. The subject's pretty deep and we can easily get lost in math formulas and charts. So to make things easier, check out your camera's pixel size. Then use one of the available online calculators to see if you're gonna get good sampling size with your telescope. Astronomy.tools has a calculator to help with this. Select CCD Suitability Calculator and use the drop down menus to match your telescope with your camera or the one you're planning on purchasing. It will tell you if your pixel size is adequate. So I decided that I wanted a dedicated monochrome camera for my solar imaging. After checking astronomy.tools and the online reviews, I purchased the ZWO ASI 178 monochrome camera. I did an unboxing video this last summer on this camera. The 6.4 megapixel image sensor has a large array of pixels at 3096 by 2080. This astronomy camera has a field of view of 1.06 by 0.72 degrees, more than adequate for our star that has an angular diameter of 0.5 degrees. The pixels are 2.4 microns in size, perfect for the sun and moon. High quantum efficiency, fast frame rate, and back illuminated. With my camera loaded on a sunny day in my Lunt Solar Telescope, I began imaging the sun by using the Lucky Imaging Technique. Lucky Imaging is where you use the video feature of your astronomy camera to take a high number of short exposures so it minimizes the effects of Earth's atmosphere. In post-process stacking, only a small percentage of those exposures are stacked, providing a sharp, crisp image. As I use my ZWO ASI Air Mini Astronomy Wi-Fi smart device through my old iPad, something was wrong. A portion of the sun was clipped. No matter what I did, I could not get the entire sun in my image. You may find that your solar images are being clipped as well. So let's review what could be the issue. Number one, is it the blocking filter? My Lunt 40 millimeter solar telescope came with the B600 blocking filter. The filter is six millimeters in diameter. Lunt recommends this blocking filter with telescopes up to 400 millimeters in focal length. They do recommend a larger blocking filter as some astrophotography cameras need it for the back focus. Check out Lunt's website for more information. Number two, is it the astrophotography camera? By checking the specifications of my cameras by using astronomy.tools, my ZWO290 camera is too small to image the sun, but my 220 and 178 are large enough. Number three, is it a hardware issue? I've been using the ZWO ASI Air Mini Astronomy Wi-Fi smart device to take my videos. The ZWO website says that their devices support video mode but I could not find any more details. Thanks to subscriber Bart Sadali and ZWO customer service, the entire line of ZWO ASI Air astronomy smart devices are limited to 1080p mode. This means that the smart device cannot use any pixels outside an area of 1920 by 1080. This means that only one third of my camera's chip is available. So if you have the ZWO ASI Air Mini or 32 gigabyte plus or 256 gigabyte plus devices, we are limited to the 1080p mode due to hardware limitations of the device. This is unfortunate and I hope ZWO is able to update this device in the future. If you want to take full advantage of the features of your astronomy a camera with a sensor larger than 1080p mode, in video mode, you will need to use some other hardware and imaging software like ASI Studio, SharpCap, FireCapture, or Nina. With my laptop, I was finally able to get a full image of the sun with my ZWO 178 camera and enjoy all the details. I hope this episode has been helpful. If you haven't subscribed and you're interested in learning more, be sure to smash that subscribe button and give me the thumbs up. Also, if you're like me, there are no telescope stores in my area, not even in my state. I purchase all my astronomy gear and solar viewing gear from High Point Scientific. They have a huge inventory of astrophotography cameras, 
solar telescopes, and eclipse viewing glasses, and more. By using High Point Scientific link below in the description, you can help this channel. Thank you for your support. I'll leave you some words from the famous philosopher Plato. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and leads us from this world to another.